back to my channel and I have a very special video for you today. It is a collab with M Sims Designs. So we decided to remodel the same house. I came up with a floor plan and we decided that we wanted to build it and design it our own way. So yeah, go check out her video. I'll link her YouTube channel in the description box below. And yeah, go give her some love. Go like, comment, subscribe. She's an amazing SimTuber. She's one of my favorites. And yeah, so on with the tour. So here we have a two-story family home. It's very cute. This is the driveway. It's very simple. Nothing, nothing, nothing special. And this is the walkway to the front door. I added two of those pink flower beds on each side of the door with those light fixtures up above. Those are my favorite lights. I think they're super cute. And on this side, I put the rustic farmhouse bushes. I think they're super pretty and that's why I use them. I also, as you can see, use the lake house exterior, which I don't use a lot, but I decided to use it this time. So coming in through the front door, this is the entrance. And on this side, I put a little white table with flowers up on top and a painting behind it and right beside it I put a little coat hanger and in the middle I put a little gray rug and I put a light up above and on this side I put a white angled chair with the urban lamp behind it I've been doing that a lot lately I think it looks I think those two that chair and that lamp make a good combination and through this door leads to the downstairs bathroom. So it's a very simple bathroom. I use the rustic farmhouse sink with those newer lights up above. And on one side I put the plant and on the other side I put a little towel rack and I just put a toilet, a, t a trash bin, and the newer toilet paper holder. So through this door leads to the hallway and through these double doors leads to the garage. Sorry. So it's very um, simple garage, nothing really special. It just has the items that every garage has. So this is where the laundry is. I put a freezer in the corner, a trash or er, a vacuum in the other corner, and there's the Hans thing that I use as a garage opener. And yeah, so down through this hallway, I put a little painting on this side of the wall with those two light fixtures. I think the painting goes really well with the wallpaper. And on this side of the wall, I put a rustic farmhouse mirror that I absolutely love and I use a lot. And through this doorway leads to the kitchen. So it's a very small, bright kitchen, but it's very functional and I think it's really cute. I use the homestead cabinets and I put the double gray oven and I use some of the, the newer items as you can see the little hanging pots that's new and i just put a couple decoration pieces here and there and on this corner is a little breakfast table so this is where the sims would come eat breakfast in the morning and yeah so through this door is the little pantry because you know i have to have a pantry in every single build of my house so yeah and through these double doors leads to the dining room so on this side of the wall is where they keep their expensive china, so it's just for show. And on the other side of the wall is where they have, like, is where the cabinets are, where they keep their wine, plates, and whatnot. And on each side I put two plants, and up above I put two light fixtures on each side. And I also use the garden table dining set. And yeah, so through this door leads to the living room. So, there's like, there's two ways to get to the living room. So, you can get through the living room through this hallway, right here, or through the kitchen. And there's two ways to get to the kitchen, through the hallway and through the living room. So, yeah. So, on this side of the living room, I use one of the newer bookshelves with the ladder, and I put a little pink rose potted plant on that corner and i use these little these little these gray sofas and i used it with that blue lamp that i normally use it with and i 
you and I like to use white items with it because I think all the color because I think those colors flow really well together with those couches and yeah so up here up the stairs is a little like reading area where they can like sit and talk on the phone sit and play on the iPad sit and read a book or just sit and just talk and yeah so it's so yeah <laughs> that's pretty much it and over here is a little computer desk where they do like their work and whatnot and I use one of the newer paintings that's my favorite painting now and on and on this side of the wall like up the stairs I normally use that rustic farmhouse painting as like family portraits and I put a little white bookshelf with the iPad and the phone on top of it and yeah so through this door I set this up I set this room up as a nursery so it's for it's a baby girl nursery I think it's really cute I used one of my favorite nursery sets and the crib is on that side and on this side is the little changing table with the nursery portraits and two light fixtures on each side and on this side I use I put the little bookshelf in the corner the rocking chair with the table and lamp next to it and the starlight fixtures and this is where the baby the baby's clothes are at so yeah it's a super cute room super cute nursery I like it and through this door it leads to the upstairs bathroom so I use the double rustic farmhouse sink and I just put this, the newer light fixtures up above, the toothbrush holder. I use the gold shower, the toilet, and the new paper toilet holder. And through this door, it is leads to the guest room. This room is set up as a guest room. But you could set if you choose to rebuild this house, you can set up any of the rooms however you want. So I use that bed. I think it's a really cute bed. I use the villa side tables on each side. I put a, table, or a TV in the corner geometric um mirror on the wall and this is like a little seating area where they can like sit and read or sit and watch tv and whatnot and this is their little closet space so yeah i live i like the guest room i think it's really cute probably my favorite room in this house and through these double doors it leads to the master bedroom so i use that bed with those lamps i think those lap those lamps match really well with that double bed and yeah and so I put a little sofa the Scandinavian light gray sofa with a little gray rug and a tv so they can sit and watch tv and I put a little dresser there with the mom's makeup and her jewelry and through this door it leads to the walk-in closet it's, it's pretty simple I put a little laundry basket in the corner and through this door leads to the master bedroom so I used the rustic farmhouse double sink with the light fixtures, toothbrush holder and whatnot. And on this side of the wall I used a little toilet or not a toilet, a uh, towel rag. And on this side I just put the rustic farmhouse tub and the same gold shower that's in the upstairs bathroom. And in this little room is the toilet room. So yeah, it's a cute little toilet room. <laughs> and I forgot to tour the backyard, so I'm doing that right now. <laughs> so this is the back patio slash backyard. So there's a little grill, a little fridge, so they can come out and grill some hot dogs, grill some burgers, and stuff like that. And then there's a little outdoor table where they can sit down and either chat or eat food and whatnot. And then over here, I left it green with some, and I put like flower hedges, and I just put a little hammock. So yeah, that concludes the tour of this cute small, this cute two-story house, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and go check out M Sims Designs. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.